Now to that developing spy story playing out between the U.S. and Russia right now. As we told you, the U.S. ambassador called into the Russian foreign ministry overnight over claims an American diplomat disguised in a really bad blonde wig is actually a spy. ABC's Martha Raditz has more now from Washington. Martha, this is a weird one. It sure is, Amy. This morning, 29-year-old Ryan Fogle is on his way back to the U.S., the first American publicly accused of spying in Russia in more than a decade. The U.S. says Ryan Fogel is a diplomat. The Russians say the young American is a spy, captured red-handed with a crazy blonde wig, trying to recruit a Russian intelligence officer to work for the U.S. The supposed evidence? Not one but two wigs, three pairs of glasses, Ziploc bags filled with wads of cash, a microphone, and this letter supposedly intended for the Russian intelligence officer, which reads in part, Dear friend, we are ready to offer you $100,000 to discuss your experience, expertise, and cooperation. We can offer up to $1 million a year for long-term cooperation. But look closer at that evidence, that blonde wig. It's raising questions. Spycraft that seems more Maxwell smart than... Bond. James Bond. Peter Ernest, a CIA officer for 20 years, says it's an unspoken rule. Spies don't get caught with a disguise. But the one thing a spy doesn't want to do is, is get picked up and have stuff on him that is spy stuff. Maybe could have been a plan. Yeah, unless, unless, as the speculation goes, it's a total setup, in which case you say, well, let's throw a couple of wigs in there. It is no secret, of course, that the U.S. and Russia still spy on each other. Remember Anna Chapman, the stunning Russian spy, part of a sleeper cell? She frequented fashionable bars and restaurants in Manhattan. But the Russians are now claiming outrage over Ryan Fogel, a Russian official in this video saying, how could you stab us in the back like this? They couldn't be too outraged because one thing has changed since the Cold War. Spy or not, Ryan Fogel was returned to the American embassy within hours after his detention.